high grade four. We are still in multiplication and its properties. Today, we will review all the previous properties of multiplication. So let's get started. The first property is the multiplication by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, etc. All what we need to know, all, all what we need to do to know the answer is put zeros to the right of the multiplied number. So when I multiply by 10, I will just put one zero to the right of the number, which is 19. So I will obtain 190. 19 times 100 is 1,900. 19 multiplied by 1,000 is 19,000. There are three zeros to the right of the 19. 19 times 10,000 is 190,000. I put four zeros to the right of 19. Also, this pattern is applicable for more numbers like 100,000, million, 10 million, etc. Not only for 10,000. This was the first property. Now, the second property is the multiplication by the multiples of 10, 100,000, 10,000, etc. Here we are multiplying 34 by 2000. To do this, we will arrange it in a vertical way, but we will not multiply by the zeros. We will hide them and multiply 34 only by 2. So we have hidden three zeros, don't forget. So 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6. Now, to know the final answer, I will return the three hidden zeros to the final product. So my answer is 68,000. First, I covered and, hi and hi hide the three zeros, then I returned them. This is how to multiply by the multiples of ten hundred thousands, etc. Let's have another example. I'm multiplying sixty three by thirty thousand. So instead of multiplying by thirty thousand, I will only multiply by three. So three times three is nine and 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. Now I will return the 4 zeros again. So my final answer is 1,890,000. Now the next property to be remembered is the property of associativity. It means that I can switch the factors I'm multiplying, the numbers I'm multiplying, I can change their places in the multiplication operation. I know that 4 multiplied by 25 is 100. And this number in multiplication, multiplying by 100, is lovely. I like it because it is very easy. So I switch the places of 25 and 86. So I will obtain 4 multiplied by 25, which is 100, the lovely number. So instead of writing 4 times 25 times 86, I will just write 100 times 86, which is very easy to deal with. It is 8,600. Another example, observe this operation. I can multiply 500 by 2 to obtain 1000. So I will make some switching, some replacement. So I will start multiplying 500 by 2, which is 1000. So we'll obtain 1000 times 74, which is 74,000. This makes the multiplication much easier. Now, the last property to be remembered is the distribution of multiplication on addition and subtraction. 
that we have taken in the last period. So let's apply this property in multiplying 38 times 1001. Instead of saying 1001, I will just say 1000 plus 1. Now I will multiply 38 by 1000 added to 38 times 1. This is the distribution. So I will, I will have 38,000 plus 38, so which is 38,038. Now, how to distribute multiplication on subtraction? Let's see this example. We have 18 multiplied by 99. Instead of saying 99, we will say 100 minus 1. So I will obtain 18 multiplied by 100 minus 18 multiplied by 1. So we'll obtain 1,800 minus 18, which is 1,782. This is how to use the distribution of multiplication on subtraction.